In this video, we're going to take a look at how to troubleshoot a display if the entire display is blank. Now, there's only a few components in each display that have the ability to control the entire display being blank. That would be the controller, an MLC if one exists, a power turn panel, i.e. the breakers. Um, so we're going to look at how to troubleshoot each of those components. So here we go. We have a blank display. I'm going to start with the controller and see if it has any lights on it at all. Generally speaking, the controller is kind of on the lower left hand side of the display. Depending on the size of the display, that may vary a little bit. And here I can see my controller right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this module. It's important never to allow a module to hang by its ribbon or power cables because that could cause damage to the module itself or the cables. So if you have some lanyards, you could hang the module uh, from the little eyelets here. Uh, otherwise, I just like to remove it. So if I remove the cover on this controller, and if we zoom in here, we can see that there are no lights on this controller. Now, that indicates that the controller has no power. So now it's not able to send any data out to the display, to the modules. So I need to step back and further in the power chain and find out why the controller has no power. So my next step is going to be to look at the power turn panel. Whenever I remove a module from a location and I'm done troubleshooting in that, I go ahead and put that module in and fully latch it. That way I don't forget to do that later. So the turn panels are generally speaking located in the center portion of the display. So I'm going to remove this module here and see if the turn panel is behind it. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my power and signal cables. And what I can see on this turn panel is, is that one of the breakers is tripped. All right, and that's why the controller is not receiving power and ultimately why the entire display is blank. Now I'd want to do some additional troubleshooting to see if any of the wires were cut or nicked that may have caused that. Now that I've checked out the cables, I don't see any other problems. I'm going to go ahead and reset that breaker. I hear those fans turn on. That's telling me that the controller now has power and our display should boot up here in a matter of a couple of minutes. My display is now showing its boot sequence, which means the controller has power. It's sending out data to the MLC, which is sending out data to the modules. And it looks like we fixed our display.